swear to God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Well, if there isn't a first time for everything. All right, new kid, let me save you some time. I'm McCabe. I like to keep to myself and my work. My work happens to be tinkering and modding weapons. And that's already more information than I like giving out. Understand? <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Oh, friend. <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right, but everybody calls me Rakes. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. You know where to find me. How goes it, friend? Be safe out there. Ah, looking for Wallace? He's got a place overlooking the docks. How can old Reggie help you today? Take care now, traveler. You were right, Mudder. Traipsing in here like you own the place. Ha! <laughs> I'm just pulling you. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Well, seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon you're his problem now. I also make sure folks hereabouts can protect themselves. They ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. <laughs> I should know. Damn straight. A lot of folks only ever learn how to look out for themselves. They don't know any different. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. It was a doggy dog world back then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, things might be different now. But a lot of folks can't chew a path out of the old ways. Maybe never will. Watch yourself, stranger. World ain't clean yet.
Greetings. Forgive me. I am not good with Paxel Tech faces. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel Tech apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel Tech name is Dwell. I sell wares crafted using refined crystals from my world. They make Paxel Tech faster, stronger, more powerful. They help it defeat its enemies. <laughs> and the prices are quite fair. I use only the purest crystals. Those the Ahane would keep for themselves. Paxeltech faces. Of course, Paxeltech. <laughs> yes, that is always the question. I am Pan, from the world of Yesha, where the Eternal Empress reigns, the Doe and Ravager run free, and the balance breathes life to the jungle. Or so it used to be. It is, Paxeltech. Yesha is keen mother to us all. Yet she suffers. Long and long have the immortals oppressed the common pan, wielding their power as if it were something they had earned or deserved. The pan have rebelled against this tyranny, and for a time it looks as if we could win. Then the pestilence came. What Paxeltech call the root. When I last saw her, Yesha languished under the pestilence. The Ravager prowls, and the Daw is lost. Ah, the Paxel take Ford, the founder. On its last visit to Yesha, it said it was possible. I do not understand the complexities myself, but now I am here. Ah, Ford came to Yesha many times, aiding the rebels against the tyranny of immortals. His desire to protect was clear even then, as was his craft for violence, which he freely shared. Dwell did not learn Paxeltech Ford's violence, but shared in aiding the rebels with the same wares I offer here. Both aided rebellion, so, both shared imprisonment. Oh, I languished for years. A cost I had never hoped to pay. But not Paxeltech name, perhaps. But it is my name whilst I live among Paxeltech tongues. Paxeltech, foreign to the pan, meaningless. Perhaps on Paxeltech world, but it is at home on Dwell's tongue. They are crafted using a special crystal, found only on Yesha. The Ahane, the priests of the Ban, forbid the crystal's use among commoners. But the Gull are craftier than Ahane know. Long and long have the Gull used the crystals for weapons, or even cruder things, like soups. But it takes an artisan like Dwell to bring out their full potential. They are crafted with refined crystals, and all crystals are special. A crystal is order, perfection from husk to heart. Some crystals split light. Others, like stones used to bring me here, can bridge worlds. 
The crystals I use carry power within them. Some Pan believe them to be divine, but this power is merely the interaction of the crystals' harmony with the chaos of the world. <laughs> As the Ahane have done for ages, I refine the crystal to magnify its harmony and focus its power. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Of course, Paxel Tick. Ah, yes. All roads lead to Dwem. can be as strong as she is someday. I see you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Goodbye, traveler.
Causing trouble, stranger. Won't work for me. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Psh, right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. to see you again. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment.
Better be worth my time, traveler. Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? <laughs> well, that explains it. Everything that old coop touches becomes a whole thing. If Ford's involved, you're gonna need all the help you can get. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. to help with whatever journey he saw you on just tell wally to be more specific next time yeah so we're done here right or do i need the hammer again oh it's a miracle move along traveler i'm a busy woman Audrey, I, uh, I've been meaning to tell you something. You sounded so much like Brad just now. Uh, sorry. What did you want to say? Hey there, stranger. I think Ford is looking to head off again. I don't know why, it's just, just a feeling I got. You should catch up with him. He's over at the entrance to the old ward. Ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? Glad to hear it. Follow me.
still smells like home. Here, take this. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no, we had to know everything there was to know about them. <laughs> it was a matter of national security, of pride. So, yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, huh. We all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on, let's go. There you are. Hurry up. Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what exactly?
go back. Tell Bo to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford? Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. did it. He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? Sister failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. No! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! Clementine! <sighs> shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 don't do it! Don't you do it! Oh, this is so stupid! <clears throat> Clementine! Ford! Shit. Where are you guys? This is all insane. Both Crystal and Ford. Better get moving if I'm gonna find Clementine.
What is this? Not Drazir. Some work of that damn custodian. No, no. Something else. A sentient thing. We bled ourselves in search of you, yet sought but did not see. Or perhaps I refuse to see. Years of reflection have laid bare miracles in my mind that I never dreamed possible. Yet some things remain out of reach. Tell me, my world, precious Nerud, what has become of it? And yet you commune with me now through the speaker's pulpit. Pray tell me, how did you come by this world? No, 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 do not answer. I see it now, at the edge of my mind. But, but, but I dare not know it. You and I share this much in common, then. We are cut off from our people, and we share a similar end. Mine lies in Alepsis Torah, while yours... <laughs> no. To speak it is to change it. Already it shifts. Rest assured. Our fates bind us together. So I ask a favor, and will offer one in return. On the surface of this world lie several chambers that were shielded, as I was, from the cruelty of Alepsis Torah. These chambers bear the soul sparks of the Drazir, our last remaining legacy. Find them, and bring them to me. But not here, not to this contemptible chamber in which you now reside. You must find me in the flesh. My temple can be found within the wastes above. Look for the all-seeing eye of the astral paths. Bring me the soul sparks, and we will speak further. Ask them. You have seen what remains of my world. Nothing lives save you and I. You will not find what you seek here. Pride. We scrape the heavens for answers, as if it owed us an explanation. In our thirst for answers, we doomed ourselves. Alepsis Torah consumed us and spat out the remains. Not you, what you represent. Life beyond our own. We could not accept that we were alone. We searched for eons. We found nothing. The entire universe, a sea of lifeless rocks. Yet, at the heart of it all, Alepsis Torah, and within that fathomless void, order, intelligence, life. Enough! You must seek the soul sparks. Nothing else matters. Too much time has passed, and the fate of Nerud draws ever closer.